Alright, this is Zifting here again to show you a couple of uh, work in progress is nearly finished or and uh, recently finished. So we're going to start off with um, nearly finished are my Cabalite Warriors. This is eight of them here and uh, just finished this guy right now. I just need to get the basing done but I got the highlighting done there. So that, the armor is just uh, Mordian blue with a heavy uh, bad uh, black wash and um, apple barrel pool blue. So that's all that was. And I'm currently working on this guy right now with the highlighting. You can see on his breastplate there. See, get the focus there. Here. And um, the rest of these guys are just washed. So I washed them last night. They're nearly done. Um, a work in progress is right now are my Hellions. Unfortunately, my Dark Eldar are, are kind of fleeting at the moment. I'll be working on them this year. Um, but my Hellions, this is my Helliarch with the uh, Stun Cloth. I can get this in focus. It decides to actually focus. There we go. So again, Mordian Blue. I haven't quite got to the washes yet, but I'm just working on base coating everything right now. And that's how it is with all of them. There's another guy. I actually don't really like the bases here. The round bases, I, if you're not using sticky tack or gluing them on, they just fall off all the time. Now, recently finished are my three kilocans. So I'll move my Cabalite Warriors off to the side. Just bring these guys forward. And there we are. So, there we are. Yep. With some added extra decals, with just adding black and minor dry brush of mithril silver, but adding in a bunch of other things. Oh, it's the eyes. The eyes that were brutal to be done, but oh, they're done anyway. I'm done my killer cans. Um, yeah, it was while I was painting these guys that I ran out of Devlin mud. So I, it was on this guy that I ran out part way through. As you can see, there's a black wash, and over here there's a brown wash. So that, that's how it is. Um, I was in the middle of painting these guys when I ran out of Devlin mud. So, oh well, I'm almost out of bad out black now, primarily because of my looted wagon. This is a four paint color scheme. Well, five if you include the wash. It is Mordium Blue, Codex Gray, Macrite Red, and Gunmetal Gray, and then bad out black wash. Now, I, I oh yes, also the light there, which is an orange. I think that's the ap apricot from Apple Barrel. But, um, yeah, this is the layman Ross, and it wasn't until after I finished painting it up that I realized that that's my brother's, this is my old brother's Imperial Guardsman. I didn't paint this guy, but just look at the color scheme there, dark red and dark blue, and look, dark red and uh, dark blue. So, it is almost a complete match to my brother's old Imperial Guard scheme, which... Made it pretty amusing when I finished painting it up and realized that. But, um, yeah, the conversion wasn't too hard. It's just, uh, add on some orc, add on, like, three orc glyphs there. Also to represent the armor plates, and then just cut out a bunch of triangles from, uh, Oatmeal Crisp box, I think it was, and just glued them on to the turret up here and at the, uh, reinforced ram, which is just, uh, Treadguard. And, uh, this guy took me, I think, all of two days to paint. But then again, I spent a good chunk of the time, uh, two, three days to paint entirely. And the unfortunate thing is the way I put it together, the, uh, turret doesn't spin, these don't move at all. Only that moves up and down, and the last cannon there moves side to side. And the last cannon there means absolutely nothing. That's honestly, it honestly means nothing. The heavy bolters there are my, uh, big shooters, and here's the boom gun. So, that's it for now. It's all I recently painted up and near painting. I just need to find something appropriate to base my Cabalite Warriors with. Um, I have some black sand. That might work. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But that may be part of the uh, basing scheme there. So, um, I'm happy with this result. Uh, 
I'll probably get this up in like a couple days or so, time permitting, but uh, as you can see, there we go, oh, there we go, that's what it looks like, uh, really up close, there we go, I think the best part of this was actually the face, that turned out quite well, zoom in on that a little bit further, oh, nope, come on, come back, there we go. Seems to go out about eight or so. There we go. There we go. So up. that's his face highlighted with just a single color. It's not a huge number of colors. It's going to be the same color palette pretty much across the board with my dark Eldar. But uh, I shall see you later. And uh, happy painting and happy wargaming.